Greetings everyone, my name is Glenn Walker. I'm a member of Toastmasters International and I'm also in my real life a information technology geek. So today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite things to do, which is to analyze data from websites in Excel. Now this might not be the thing that you want to do or your favorite thing to do, but I found it very useful, especially in my role at higher levels in Toastmasters where I was working with data and helping to analyze data to understand what was going on in my district. So if you're a district officer or an area director or a division director, you might find this very useful and you might find a way to use this. So let's get into it. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show how to take data from a website. And in this case, the website is Toastmasters International's website. So I'm just gonna enter toastmasters.org in the web browser. And the data that I'm interested in typically is the data coming from the performance reports. And I'm just going to go over and pick my district, District 99, as an example. And after a few seconds, it should refresh. And then I'm going to, as for this example, look at some of the daily reports. So one of the reports that's very interesting and I found handy to analyze and do some manipulations with was the educational achievements. So if I open that page, you'll see that in there is a list of educational achievements for the members in our district. And what I want to do is get that into Excel so I can do some work with it. So I'm going to go up to the, the uh, URL in the browser. I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to go over to Excel. Now this is just a blank worksheet that I opened in Excel. I'm going to click on data and then I want to go from the web. Now if you don't see from the web as an option here, click on the down arrow beside get data, go down to other sources and there's from the web, same thing. We'll open that up and it gives me a place to put my URL that I just copied. So I'm going to paste it in there by hitting control V Then I'll click on OK. Excel is now going to go out and retrieve that page and bring it the information about it to me. It will actually dissect the page into the various different parts and present it to me. Here it comes. And so it shows me the various parts of my web page. If I look at the tables that are in here, you see the first one doesn't have anything really interesting in it. Second one, yeah, it's nothing interesting there. But when I click on table two, there is the data that I'm interested in. So now that I've found it, I'm just going to click on the load button. And that's going to cause that data to retrieve from that web page and put into my spreadsheet for me to use. So now this by itself is interesting because I can do all kinds of things like sorting this in different orders, filtering it to pick out different information. But one of the more interesting things I can do is I can go over here under Queries and Connections, which is accessible on the Data tab by clicking on this. And I can say, oh, I'm going to take this data set and I'm going to reference it. Now, you have an option to duplicate, which means you're creating another copy of that data. In most cases, I usually reference or get the data once and then reference it so that I'm not duplicating. So I'm going to reference it. It opens up what's called the Power Query Editor. And this editor allows you to do all kinds of manipulations of your data. You can do things like sorting your data. You can do all kinds of different manipulations, which I'm not gonna get into in a big time here. But one of the things I'm gonna show you, for example, is that I can go over here and I can say, well, I want to transform this data into something else. So I'm gonna click on the Transform tab. And the one that I'm interested in is I wanna find out how many awards I have for various types of awards for my for clubs. Now, because this is, offers a very simplistic, it would just do it by one award, I want to do something more advanced, so I'm going to click on the advanced. It allows, so I'm going to say I want for each club, I want to know how many, so I want to count. I'm just going to give it a name, and it's going to now go out and group the data by club, by award, so that I can actually see how many. In this case, it's doing a count. You can see there are other operations here that could be done. 
but for the award, it doesn't make sense to do a min or a max or a sum or an average. I'm just gonna count the rows and I'm going, and I could add more if I wanted to do more different kinds of aggregations, uh, whether it be sums or averages, all that stuff. I'm gonna click okay. And you'll see that immediately the data transforms so that now I have a list that shows me for each club, for each award type, how many of those did they earn. So now I'm, I'm gonna say I'm, that's kind of what I wanted to achieve. So I'm going to say I'm done. I'm gonna click, go back to the home tab and I'm gonna click on close and load. And what this is gonna do is add another sheet to my Excel workbook. And it's gonna load the data that I just created in the Power Query in here. So there we have it, that's kind of cool. I did that analysis. Now that I've got the data in here, I can do things like, for example, I can go in here and say, I'm only interested in one club. So show me for that one club. Well, look at that there. I can see all of the awards that that club achieved last year and how many of each one. All of those are very interesting things to look at. And, and you can imagine that the sky is the limit. Uh, I took this report from Toastmasters International and I was actually able to recreate some of the other reports and actually able to create a list of clubs and the awards that were there that I could use for recognition ceremonies. It's actually a very handy thing. Again, your imagination is pretty much the only limitation. Some of the more uh, advanced manipulations might take some thinking and I had to do a little bit of research on how to do some of them. So if you're interested in how to do them, don't hesitate to reach out. So that's how you use data from websites in Excel. That's a short example. I just wanted to give you a little five minute teaser on how to do it so that you could think about ways that you could use that same functionality to help you when you're analyzing data from various different websites. And if you're a Toastmaster, this gave you a specific example of how to do it using data from Toastmasters International. If you liked what you saw, hit the subscribe button, come back anytime. And if you need some help or need some pointers and examples, reach out. I'm always willing to help a fellow Toastmaster or to uh, do something that's interesting that would help them to advance in what they're trying to achieve in Toastmasters.